uh, hello everyone good evening in indonesia uh, for all participants in especially the committee thanks for having us today we are really glad to be here before we begin i'd like to introduce myself my name is rido i have background in it my friend marcelan baby in geologist so um, my role in this team is to revolves around the algorithm development. I'll be handling the, present the presentation today. On behalf of our team, RPM, I'd like to say thank you to the committee from, for making this happen. The symposium for sharing knowledge is a really great idea for this. For this event today, we'll be representing RPM to share what we did in the first competition how we did, what we did after that, and what is the next step. Okay, uh, first we talk about the data set. Um, we got two kinds of data sets provided by the committee, the Equenor and the Slumbersea data set. With each data set consists of seismic cube and path architecture in segway format file. Like what Sido, you might encounter. I, yeah. I don't think we see your next slide. We're still on the first slide here. Oh yeah. So you um, may be sharing the wrong screen. I have a suspicion. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. Still in the first screen? Yeah, now you're not sharing anything. Oh. Okay, now we see your presentation in, yeah. So if you just go in reading mode on that now, that's typically oh, solved the okay. problem. Uh, uh, Rido, take the, take the, but the little booklet next to the presentation button. button. If you, on the bottom there, uh, left, 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 left. Left. No, yeah, so, sorry, like <laughs> just move the mouse on the sort of reading mode button. Uh, so if you go back to the presentation oh. button with your mouse and then just move tiny wee bit left. Oh, ah, there you go. Yes, excellent. So now, now you can oh, share. Okay. 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 Uh, everyone can see the second screen? Uh, yes, now we can, yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, uh, next. Uh, yeah. Uh, the data set uh, provided by the committee, uh, Equinor and Sambersi. Um, with each data set consists of seismic cube and half architecture in Segway format file. Yeah, uh, next, maybe in the, the method that we use in this competition. Uh, starting from the preparation, or we call the pre-processing stage, there are two main activities that we want to highlight in preparing the data provider. Uh, the first one, um, the seismic cube data. The preparation was done by extracting the inline and coastline image from the seismic cube. But before that, we want to make sure that the cube was processing are in the best condition, less noise. So before we extract its inline and crossline, we did the denoising like median filter to minimize the noise carried out by the cube. The second part is the fault architecture, or what we call uh, the fault segue. The main idea is the, the pre-process this data was to let the machine know that what is fault. Based on the that background, we use labeling on fault architecture to produce the annotation file for every fault that was provided by the fault architecture to let our algori algorithms know which fault that we meant earlier. Here is the illustration on the labeling process. In which this process we label every fault as the name of fault that was provided in every inline to produce the annotation file. 
so uh, the procession the process of annotation annotating will oops, will produce the annotation file for every inline and cross line okay the next process is training processing uh, we need both input the to be considered considered we also use cnn as our best algorithm to produce the model uh, we agree that cns is uh, cnn is quite fast and effective to work with image data uh, whether it's 2d uh, or 3d in short the output from the processing stage is the training model that can tell us the location of the fault After we are able to produce the training model, we test the model with training data set that we have defined earlier from the certain data set. This process is more like a trial error thing. We keep evaluating every attempt that we did until we get the best result to be processed as the as the fault image one. Um, the evaluation process is, is illustrated by right. we evaluate every output that was provided in every attempt. Every result is compared with the ground truth and the evaluation process is done by calculating the confusion metric. From that confusion metric, we could get the value of precision with which reflected the number of fault detected by the machine that is actually fault and the value of recall which reflected the percentage of fault detected by the machine considering the fault annotated earlier so it is like the success ratio here is the best result from the tile error thing that finally we submitted to the committee we could produce the a consistent consistent line of major fault we also didn't expect that our algorithm could produce the bold interpretation, especially on the area with low reflection, which I signed it with the red circle. Yeah, uh, with red circle in thing in the presentation. Okay, for the next step. Uh, after the competition, we and the rest of the team decided to further develop the algorithm we used the feedback from the community as starting point to reflect that we are good at and we are lack of if i may summarize it from that competition um, we, re we realized that we were only able to take as an input to process to, to process to produce a segway file format data while to be able to fully interpret a fault one need to produce to produce false stick ASCII format which are, are also connected by genesis with another fault in another inline um so in the last three months after the competition we tried to develop our algorithm to not only recognize the segway format data but also the ASCII format data or the false stick you can say yeah, uh, we want our algorithm could be used as a, a recommendation not to replace the uniqueness of geoscientists in inter interpreting fault so you will you will still have it your way in interpreting interpreting faults but uh, with our software it should be much faster uh, we try to accommodate your needs by giving you faster results uh, here's the illustration of our method post competition the left picture representing the unsupervised or the algorithm picking from the, the from the competition while on the right picture representing the user interpret interpretation as a best practice or a, as a guidance for our algorithms 
uh, we might see that uh, algorithm picking is not as perfect as the user interpretation, but our research proven that the more data set uh, that we collect and put it uh, in our training data set, the more precise the output could be. The picture in the slide was taken when we only have one or two data sets on our training, training data sets. Uh, while the while the results in this video were taken, uh, when we have uh, six data sets on our training data set, uh, okay, maybe we please watch this short video as our demo. Um, yeah, uh, we we realize that our output is still far from perfect, especially the visualization. It is still far from the best practice. We are currently developing a way to produce a more comprehensive, more closer to the best practice in the fault interpretation. And lastly, we hope that our little contribution uh, could make a huge, could make a huge impact in industry, especially in reducing time. Uh, make your works in interpretation fault uh, more effi efficient. Um, I think that would be all from us. If you guys have any question, please raise your hand or type question in the chat box. Or if you guys want to discuss further, please do not hesitate to contact us in the email. Uh, we are happy to answer that. Uh, thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you very much, uh, Ludo. Are there any questions regarding Ludo's presentation? Um, yeah, uh, I have a question, please. Let's go ahead. Uh, I can't quite see who asked the question. Sorry. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, ah, you uh, uh, Sorry. Yeah. Um. Thanks, Rido, for your presentation. Uh, I just want to uh, ask and know you um, the kind of model architecture you used to train. You used to train the model. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you? Hear me? Yeah. I, w I was trying to know the type of model architecture you used in training your. Oh. Um. Uh, the model architecture, right? Uh, the model architecture I use is uh, YOLO, the YOLO object detection. YOLO, okay. Yeah, sorry, I, I didn't hear that properly. Maybe we could just type it in the chat box. Yeah, y YOLO, it's sort of. Yeah, the, 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 the model architecture is called YOLO. Uh, I'll provide it in the chat box. Yeah, okay. Just put the All link right. to the GitHub there. Thanks, Lucy. Okay, okay. Yeah, thanks. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Uh, All right. Any question? Any further questions?